Hey, happy sunshine family. Welcome back to the Lunacy Channel. It's September 11th, 2017 at 2.18 in the afternoon, Pacific Time. Uh, I've got for you today another observation to put on the pile of the Heather Antucci Giraffe Randall K. Bean case. As you may recall from watching my previous videos, there's some conflicting information about whether or not we can find a death record for Parker Still, who is the FBI agent, uh, <laughs> the lead investigator on this case, who has testified in two different hearings, one in Knoxville, Tennessee, and the other and Washington DC and some interesting discrepancies arose when we read through the transcripts from both of those hearings this man does not feel like he's an expert in identity theft uh, proficient at investigating financial crimes he doesn't feel like he's a defense attorney a prosecuting attorney a judge trained at JAG uh, was one of the chief legal counsels for Operation Enduring Freedom. No, he doesn't feel like any of that when, when you look at his testimony. And some people were looking at public record sites online and were finding indications that Parker still has a death certificate in his name out of Blount County or Knoxville, Tennessee. And there was a phone call, which you guys can go back and watch that video if you haven't heard it already, between a member of the Lunacy family and a representative from one of these online public records uh, websites. And this representative stated that, yeah, I'm looking at our internal report. I see that there's a death record for Parker Still, but I can't get it from uh, the county it's being we're being blocked for some reason and this was on Friday that that I put that video up and today is the first business day that I had to get a or since then to get a hold of the health department in Blunt County and so I called them today and I'm gonna let you listen to how that call transpired Our normal office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. We are closed on all state holidays. For the WIC department, please press 1. For primary care, please press 2. For primary care refill line, please press 3. For general clinic, which includes family planning, immunizations, and STD, please press 4. For dental, please press 5. For birth and death certificates, Please press six. Please hold while I transfer your call to that extension. This is Elena. May I help you? Oh, hi. Uh, did you say your name was Elena? Selena. Oh, Selena. Okay, I'm a surgeon. Well, uh, happy sunshine. I'm calling to see if I can get some information about a death record that may be on file with you guys. Okay. When, was, when did the death occur? Well, that's really what I wanted to, to find out by looking at the document. I have a, a name and a date of birth of the person I suspect died. Is there a way that you can look it up with that information? Our records are confidential. So are you a relative of this person or something? Uh, no, I'm not. So I really can't give out any information then. Okay. Uh, I, I was under the impression that death records were a matter of, of public record. Uh, oh, absolutely not. Now, not for 100 years. 
Not for a hundred years. Yeah. Oh. Back in a hundred years, and I'll be glad to help you. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, so okay, well, this is this is interesting. You're you're giving me you're giving me an education here. I I thought that the birth and death records were were public records, and and I'm finding that they're that they're not. No, they're not at all. Oh. They're not, not one of fifty years and one's a hundred years. Oh, no, right. that. And and is this just something for Tennessee, or is this I, a I national I, I just know it's for Tennessee. I don't know about other states. Oh, my. Okay, so the only way, then, that somebody can get a copy of a death record is to prove that they are a family member. Is that right? Family member or that you have a reason that you need to be able to get it. Okay, and and is there? Do you have a brochure or pamphlet that enumerates what those valid reasons for needing a death certificate are? No, not really. I mean, why are you wanting to get one? Well, if, I, whether or not that's a valid reason. Okay. Well, I ha I suspect that uh, somebody who died, uh, their identity may have been taken or stolen, and somebody else is walking around. Uh, purporting to be the same person that died and doing official things in official capacity. Now, this is just a suspicion right now, but I'm trying to get back to the bottom. You need to report then to the police or something, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's not a reason that I can give you any information mm -hmm. then here. Oh, okay. All right. Well, this is all very interesting to me. Thank you so much for that. All right. <laughs> Selena? Thank you. Sorry I, yes. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't help you. Oh, that's okay. I understand. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, well, there you have it, family. Uh, <laughs> it, it appears that birth certificates and death certificates are, are not a matter of of public record, um, that's that's very interesting. You got to go back. Let's see. She said fifty years for one and a hundred years for the other. Fifty years for a birth certificate and a hundred years for a death certificate. That's. She said if I come back in a hundred years that she'd be able to help me. Wow. Wow, with everything that we've been learning that that may be going on with this scam, the straw man account, with being declared dead, uh, what, at nine years old, being signed away by our parents and over to what? The powers that were. And they are executors of our trust or trustees of all of our abundance. Um, I, I did not know that birth certificates and death certificates, especially death certificates, were not a matter of public record. Very interesting. So that's just another observation to throw on the pile. Uh, another, another hurdle in the attempt to ascertain whether or not there is an official death certificate for Parker Still, the man who is testifying the man the person claiming to be Parker still is testifying in these hearings and cannot spell his name consistently from one hearing to another wow we're in the twilight zone guys if you have any love light or links for me in this matter or any others you can send those to lunacy l-u-n-a-s-e-e -E at protonmail.com. Wow, I love you guys a lot. You're really one supportive, intelligent, articulate, loving family. I've talked with a few of you on the phone. That's been experiences of runaway conversations. So I wanted to convey to all of you some special observations that there are some smart people articulate people, intelligent people that are aware 
of a lot of facets of the grander deception around us and are working very hard to make more observations and disseminate those observations. That's really the highest form of love right now as we dismantle the deception. And I just wanted to thank all of those who are participating in the Lunacy family. All right, peace out. We will be back soon.